Thank you. Hi, everyone. Great to see you. Uh, big week coming up for you guys. This is going to be uh, your third final in two seasons with Fiorentina. So my question for you, Giacomo, is what is it about these knockout style competitions that sees Fiorentina excel? Well, uh, reaching the third final in uh, two years is certainly a source of uh, great pride. Uh, it shows uh, what excellent work uh, has been done in the recent years. And uh, now, of course, uh, we, we'd like to add uh, the cherry on top of it. And uh, that's what we are working for. Uh, Giacomo, obviously, you have a big competition. You're going to be going to Athens. I know Olympiakos has an incredible atmosphere. Their fans are crazy. How do you prepare for such an intense atmosphere in a big final? Well, uh, we prepare the game um, as we do for uh, for all the other matches. Uh, we, we study the opponent, uh, we, we see videos, and uh, try to 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 do the right strategy strategy to uh, to play against uh, Olympiakos. That is a very very good team. By the way, for everybody at home, Giacomo said before, oh, my English is not very good, and I yeah. think he speaks better English than me. So, Giacomo, <laughs> first off, congrats on that. The, the next thing I wanted to ask you is every time I'm watching Fiorentina, there is a spirit about this team that no matter what happens, you always feel like they're going to get a goal, that you guys are never out of a match, and it makes us very proud watching from afar. But for you, that you're within this squad, you're in the locker room, what is that? How would you explain it to people at home? I think this is uh, the character of our coach and um, the boss is brilliant and this is um, his mentality and uh, he, he brought new ideas and a new way of approaching matches which uh, has definitely helped me and my, my teammates. Jack, how's your Spanish? I know your English is good, but, and, and your Italian is obviously great. But what about your Spanish? You sit behind two Argentines that have been phenomenal this season, and Lucas Beltran and, and Nico Gonzalez. Uh, Spanish is, I understand, but uh, but if I speak Italian, they understand me because it's uh, similar. Nice. Well, it definitely seems like you guys are getting along because they've been very important to the team. Talk about what they mean. Yeah, because they are um, they are intelligent guys and they know the, the they know the game and so we don't need to speak too much. Jack, I want to ask you. You mentioned your coach uh, Vincenzo Italiano. What do you think he's done for you? Because you've had yet another stellar season. Well, I, I think um, uh, his style of play um, helped me because. Uh, um, his mindset is not uh, uh, about uh, the, the physicality. It's uh, also important uh, the positioning and uh, the skills and uh, to do the right things at the right time. That's, uh, that's why I think um, uh, it's helped me a lot because uh, of his idea. Our commentator, Matteo Bonetti, once said about Bonaventura, he said he's aging like a fine Tuscan wine because Ooh. it seems like you just get better with the years. I know you credit Italiano, but what is it about your game that you're also working on that we're seeing the best Bonaventura year after year? But I think uh, with the experience, uh, you know um, a lot about football, about the game, and if you are able to keep your uh, physical strength, uh, uh, at my age, uh, you, you can perform very well in Serie A and uh, I think in, in football in general because you have uh, a lot of knowledge and uh, that's why I, I, I do this uh, here in Fiorentina. Jack, what about the recovery process and the discipline off the field? Does that also play into a factor at 34 years old that you're just getting better? But um, I had injuries in the past, and I know what to do to to stay fit. Uh, and uh, of course, it's important to play because if you play lots of matches, you 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 have the the condition, you have the strength, and uh, that, that's the, I think the most important thing. But also the recovery is important. Now I know I know very well my body, and I know what to do. Uh, especially when I'm tired, I know that uh, 
they have to recover yeah, don't push too much all right jack Mo, i know these guys these guys want to talk about all the stuff <laughs> on the pitch but but i'm i'm taking it off the pitch because you live in in probably my favorite city in all of Europe. Florence, it to me, is, it's heaven. It doesn't get better than that. I'm, we've got these beautiful photos of the city behind us. I've been there a few times. So I want to I wanna know how you take advantage of this city. Like on a day off and you've got a day free in the city of Firenze, what, what are you doing? Well, um, I live uh, outside Florence in countryside, but not so far so uh, i can stay relaxed in uh, the countryside but at the same time in 10 minutes 15 minutes i can go to the city center with the kids and uh, to see i don't know museum more shops uh, or a restaurant and uh, without the the massive traffic that you can find uh, in milan for example or rome because florence is uh, is small and you can uh, visit the city just by walking. It's fantastic to live here. Can I tell you something that happened to me in the summer? And in Florence, Giacomo, I ran into in the same, and within one hour, I ran into Dunga, and I ran into Luca Feltran. <laughs> uh, it's unbelievable. You guys just go so, out, but you guys just go yeah. out in, 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 in the middle of everybody? Yeah, because it's small. It's a small city, and... Uh, if you go around, uh, you see players. Maybe you you were lucky because uh, uh, it was our uh, day off, and you you find Lucas. Uh, but uh, lots of players uh, go shopping in the center of the city, and uh, uh, especially in in the day off because uh, uh, it's not uh, it's, the quality of life here is uh, super because. Uh, uh, I repeat, there is no big, big traffic or uh, uh, big stress. No, uh, it's, it's very easy to live here. It sounds like the exact opposite of New York City, but that's <laughs> exactly. That's but that, that's why I like New York City. But you keep I mentioning. I went with the national team in New York City. And there's a what did you think? Crazy. I, I love, I love New York City, but. Uh, what did you think was... of the fans in that game? What? What do you think about the the tifosi, the fans, the Azzurri fans yeah, in that the, match? The atmosphere is a bit uh, different um, from Europe. It's more like uh, a show here in uh, in United States, and this uh, is nice. The passion was unbelievable. In, in Italy, there is more um, pressure pressure from the fans to to win the game. And uh, in USA, I find the atmosphere very, very relaxed, uh, very, very nice. I enjoy a lot. Giacomo, talking about the Italian national team, seeing you score for the first time at 34 years old, the oldest player to ever score your first goal, and then your dedication to your father, the relationship Luciano Spalletti has also had with you, referring to you as Italy's Jude Bellingham. Talk to me about the Italian national team and the pride you have uh, playing for Azzurri. Yeah, national uh, national team is uh, the the best thing uh, for for uh, an Italian player. Uh, I think we have a great group of players, young and uh, some players with experience. Uh, great coach. Uh, that will be difficult because there is a lots of national team with great great players like England, like uh, Sp uh, Spain. Uh, Germany, but uh, we will try our best to 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 win matches and to to prepare to prepare matches. So, do you like the comparison to Jude Bellingham? <laughs> uh, Jude Bellingham is a is a world class. I'm an I'm an old player. Now, nah, experience. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, we have, we play in the the, the same position and uh, of course uh, he's a world class and uh, he's uh, he's very young and uh, he's done an, an amazing job in Real Madrid. Uh, I think uh, will be one of the best uh, player in the next years. All right, world class now center midfield Jude Bellingham, right? Who was your idol back in the day, center midfielder? When I was young, uh, um, I watched a lot of football with my father, and uh, I liked the, the creative players. I remember Zidane, uh, uh, Roberto Baggio, Rui Costa. 
the, this was the player that I they enjoyed uh, a lot to yeah. watch. I know you like Michael Jordan growing up. Are there any current American uh, athletes that you uh, you're a fan of? Maybe you model your game after. Well, I see sometimes uh, NFL uh, like the Tom Brady and uh, um, Kevin Durant. When I see uh, when I see NBA, uh, I love American uh, American sports in general. Uh, NBA, NFL. Uh, when I was in vacation in in America, I, I watched also a um, baseball uh, match. That was a Ooh. bit strange because it's very very long match. Ooh, but yeah, it was long. a very very nice experience. They say it's a day at the park. Very quiet experience. <laughs> He's a good yeah. guy for saying that. Nice yeah. experience. Could, could you imagine baseball game in like San Cedar or something? Oh my God. Oh my now, God. Giacomo, baseball baseball is more a vehicle for for socializing and, and eating and drinking. You know, yeah. that's kind of yeah. how yeah. how that's we America. <laughs> yeah. We view it. Yeah. I'm curious. So you said you you've been on vacation in America. Where was your where was your favorite spot that you've been to over here? I've been uh, the bo both sides in uh, Miami, in uh, New York, and uh, California. And I went uh, in, with AC Milan. I, I went to see the match because we were uh, the um, preseason in San Francisco and uh, Los Angeles a few years ago. And in the day off, we we went to visit uh, the, the 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 baseball match in San Francisco. But I prefer California. Giacomo, mm -hmm. we, uh, we can't end this interview without talking about uh, Joe Barone, uh, a very important figure here in New York and, of course, with Fiorentina. And if Fiorentina is in the final once again, it's a lot thanks to the team that Joe was able to build. And the newspapers have put per te Joe. What is the spirit in the locker room? And is there that feeling of we have to accomplish this and give the trophy to Joe? Yes, Barone gave everything to Fiorentina. Uh, he put his heart and soul into the club from from the day uh, he arrived. Uh, together with President Comiso, uh, he developed uh, the, the team and the club. Uh, they built a, an amazing um, training center. Uh, they want to build the stadium. Uh, and we will definitely uh, be playing for him. Uh, in the final as well. Uh, it would be amazing if we had uh, something to dedicate to him because um, Joe for us was uh, not like a general manager, but more like a, a father. Oh, it's mm. beautiful, beautiful tribute. Uh, Giacomo, thank you so very much for taking the time to join us here this morning. We really, really appreciate it. Best of luck next week. We're cheering for you, man.